sick of shaky footage that looks like dog shit, so am I. That's why I threw some dollars at Amazon and made a little change. Now footage is all buttery smooth, even when I'm half filming while driving around. How do you fix a problem like shaky footage? Just buy a gimbal. Just picked up a Fujitech G4 QD 3-axis gimbal. This thing's awesome, and it deserves the money in your wallet and a spot in your day bag. If you haven't seen or used a gimbal before, it's simply a device that stabilizes your camera and keeps it level. No more shaky shaky. How does it work? Three motors, some electricity, and maybe a little bit of black magic. Bibbity bobbity boo, I'm not really sure how it works. In fact, it works so well, I wish I could just use the gimbal and the GoPro to shoot this whole video. Instead, I have to keep showing it on the screen. This is what it looks like when I'm just walking using the GoPro branded three-way mount to record. I'm also focused on keeping my hand as smooth as possible. This glorified selfie stick costs 70 bucks, by the way. Now, here we are on the same road using the G4 gimbal. It's a lot smoother and I'm not even trying to keep my hand steady. Here's why this gimbal is so great. Look how smooth the footage is and you never even guess that you're riding on an elephant. <laughs> Monkey. Oh, and now we're gonna see monkeys. By now, you can probably tell if you might be needing a gimbal in your future. Remember, my last name is not Feliotech, so I don't care if you buy this one or not. Unless you use the affiliate link in the description, then I care a lot. But guess what? So does the entire internet. The world would be a better place if there was a lot less shaky footage on YouTube. We've been using this gimbal daily for the past five months. It has a nice build quality to it, and like the lawyer in Jurassic Park asked, Are they heavy? Yeah. Yeah? Then they're expensive, put them back. Yeah, he's got a point. It's expensive, it's $240 on Amazon right now. However, I don't see a place that you can put $240 where you're gonna see such a drastic improvement in the quality of footage. I would rather have an older GoPro and this gimbal than say, the new Hero 4 Black. So yes, there's a cost to owning the gimbal, but you'll be glad to know the build quality is really high. I dropped it off a motorbike going like 40. I dropped it out of the van a few times. I didn't tell Allison about it till right now. It goes with us every day. We use it all the time. The battery lasts forever in it. Way more of our footage is usable than it was before. That's it's just watchable. Cool. You don't get dizzy watching it. You don't get mad watching it because it's so bumpy. I also don't baby this thing. It goes right into the bag, wrapped into towel like ET, when I'm feeling nice. If I'm not, it just goes in their nakies and it's been fine. Battery life's great, but the fact that you have to pull the batteries out to charge is a bit strange. On the plus side, I like batteries you can swap out so you're never stuck with a completely dead device. You get two sets with your purchase, so you'll be good to go. I'm getting about four hours of active use out of them before they get too sleepy to work anymore. Fiatech also sees fit to use the same mini USB charging cable that GoPro uses, so that's nice. There are different functions you can trigger by pressing the button on the handle of the gimbal. Press it twice to lock the vertical, press it thrice to make things go all flippy D upside downy. So if you're looking to take your footage to the next level, skip the drone for now, forget about upgrading GoPros, just go get a gimbal. You'll be glad you did.